Right, this is the, our acoustometer, which we're using to measure signal strength and power density. Uh, we're in Henrietta Park here, and uh, this is quite a good place just to kind of get some kind of calibration of a relatively low signal strength and power density. As we can see here, we're just about in the orange here, with a little bit of power in the signal there. Uh, this, is, this is quite a good place to, to be actually in regards to the signal. One of the advantages of green spaces like this here in Henrietta Park is that uh, all the, uh, the, the uh, vegetation, the trees and everything, they, they do have a habit of blocking the signals, which is why 5G doesn't get on with trees very well, particularly wet trees. The foliage and the, and the sap in the trees will actually send the signal to earth which explains why uh, the wireless industry is so intent upon cutting trees down uh, and you just have to go along uh, the Bristol to Bath uh, rail track to see all, all the, um, the carnage being done there with trees. So this is really what we're looking for. If you can, if you can live in an area with a signal and a power density around about here then I'd personally be quite happy with that. Now, as always, um, just be aware that this, this meter will only show you signal strength and power density. This won't show you what the frequency is or what the waveform is like or what kind of pulse rate is in there. And that's where we think the danger is, is in the, uh, the shape of the waveform and the pulsing. Now, as it, as it is at the moment, it's down in the, the orange zone, which is um, not too bad. I mean, if you're electro-hypersensitive, then this might be a bit of a problem, but for most of us, this shouldn't be a problem. Once it goes above uh, 0.7 or 1, that's when you'll start seeing the red uh, diode start flashing. That's when it's getting a little bit dodgy, really, on the, uh, on the signal strength. And certainly if it's up to 6, I uh, really wouldn't want to hang around an area uh, of that kind of signal strength and unfortunately around Bath there are areas where you will find a signal strength up here and the power density is up here somewhere um, as we see later on as we go around and have a look at some masts. And we're at uh, Moorfield Sandpit. Uh, we're standing in front of the swings with the uh, mast in the background here and the readings are a bit on the high side they've come down come down a little bit now but they were touching six a bit earlier on uh, this really does look quite dangerous I think for kids in the long term right we're here at uh, Corston View which is just off English Coombe Lane and uh, this is the tower which is located here obviously for its position overlooking Bath now you can probably see in the actual tower itself the size of those that cable in there that is massive there's a lot of electrical energy going into those transmitters and that's all going out into the air we can see here we're in the red which is not good We're here on the Old Froome Road in St Martins, we're Sainsbury's just down the road here and this is the readings we're picking up from this mast over here. Uh, you can see its average power is about nearly touching four, which um, is a bit high, I wouldn't really want to hang around in this area too long with, uh, if this power level is constant there. We're here near Oldfield Park's Infant School, which is just off the Bristol Road, and uh, you can see this very high reading here. This is showing up to uh, six volt meters peak signal strength here, which, quite frankly, I think is um, ridiculously high to have a school in this area like this. We're here outside Bath College, and we can see that the readings are quite high they're up in the um, they're peaking up at six volt meters uh, and that which is about as high as it goes so it may actually be higher than this um, this really is I think this is really really is high and particularly if you're living or working in this area uh, 
Uh, we're here now near the Theatre Royal and we're just taking a reading of the, um, the antennas up on the Bath College which you can probably see in the background and again you can see these readings are still very high they're up there hitting six and I actually be going over six because six is as high as it goes on here um, this really is too high I think um, but again you have to remember this is quite a crude indication of the signal and the signal um, will have a waveform and it will have a pulse rate and it's the waveform and the pulse rate which is probably a little bit which is more worrying really than the, um, the signal strength and the power density now Bath has uh, 5G active now and we we're guessing that they've got 5G transmitters up on Bath College which is not good news 